Hello there and welcome. My name is Kat Hapley and this is a Animal Crossing video where, where we make a cozy cabin for Bo in the Happy Home Paradise DLC. Now, I love, love, love this DLC. I've been playing it so much and I really like the idea that um, Animal Crossing has a mode that I can play just kind of forever as opposed to doing dailies and stuff like that. Um, and so for this video, I wanted to kind of just go through, you know, my building process and things. And so we decided on a house for Bo, um, and he wanted a picnic sort of situation, but I thought, no, let's just kind of do what I want to do, which is a, um, you know, rustic cavern inspired, um, house. And here I'm trying like Christmas trees tis the season right now but I kind of just want to keep it timeless so I put regular old cedar trees everywhere um I don't really do anything more with this at the beginning I just kind of like started it off at the beginning I honestly forget to do the yard a lot <laughs> so it's kind of nice to start off at the beginning and be like oh the yard's there you know just to make sure that I remember but yeah we start off with a log cabin wall and obviously some log furniture i think the next time i make something that's supposed to be cozy i might try a smaller room i'm so used to doing a big room because oh the bigger the room the more stuff i can fit but i really think that there's definitely a time for a smaller room depending on what you're trying to make but at the same time, I wanted to give this like an airy cabin feel too. I mean, cabins are cozy, but um, a lot of them tend to have enough space for like kitchens and things like that. Yeah, so we replaced the one couch with a fireplace. And then we've also got a wood, one burning stove there. Um, that's just kind of like waiting off uh, until we move it to where it'll end up being. And here, I'm actually trying to figure out what table to put um right there as a side table and honestly this one looks fine when it comes to the pattern that i ended up choosing which was you know the red plaid situation and uh, there's me messing up <laughs> and it's too tall they're all just too tall for the log furniture and it just doesn't it's not the aesthetic i wanted um so what I ended up doing was kind of going with my old reliable, which was log stools as side tables. You can put something on them or you could just sit your butt down on one, but they look like they're at the right level that a side table would need to be at for this furniture. Um, adding a nice little lamp, kind of establishing a deep red brown sort of color palette. And then I go through a couple iterations, like just variations of this uh, deer head. And eventually I settled on the ivory one. I felt like it just kind of the cream sort of color against the red, I think was the best. Otherwise it was just too matchy matchy if it was the natural coloring. And then here, Oh, here is where I'm experimenting with the wall situation. So I wanted to kind of make a one side, like an accent wall brick. I don't end up using that one, but we end up using this rustic stone wall, um, which fits the theme very well. And then I add some partition walls to kind of close the cabin around. So it kind of has like a little bit of a focal point just pulls interest over that direction. Um, my one gripe about the partition walls is the fact that you can't put any, you know, wall hanging stuff on them, um, which I actually kind of just ignored early uh, later on in this video. You'll kind of see why. But I put um, the wooden pillars up against the corners just to kind of create some like visual interest there. Yeah, I go through a, color, a couple of um, experiments with the colors here. I try to add um, counters, island counters to the sides, but they just didn't 
create what I wanted to create with them just with the grid system it's not it's not working out too well so um those do come back we do add uh, island countertops later but now I'm just kind of finding you know where my next direction will be here's the ranch kitchen And then we just sort of fill out other areas um, of the cabin with a dinner table, some ironwood furniture, which I think I just realized I left. <laughs> okay, now I'm just realizing that those chairs, the ironwood furniture should be, can be kind of uh, rotated <laughs> on one end of the table. <laughs> or actually two ends, rather. Um, yeah, my bad. Oops. But yeah, we changed the custom design uh, to this, you know, plaid, red plaid, sort of basic rustic. Not basic, just rustic. Not basic. <laughs> but like the first thing I think of when I think of rustic is that that pattern. Absolutely. So here I am thinking about the kitchen or kind of where to go with the kitchen. We'll be kind of adding random things. Oh, I ended up adding that clock actually. Radio, sorry, it's a radio. To kind of fill out that area. This is where I kind of just ignored what happens with the lights when you put them behind a partition wall. So it actually still looks kind of good. So I just left it there. But those lights are actually sitting on the wall behind the partition wall. And so they're kind of clipping through the item, which honestly in this situation, I don't, I don't think it looks bad. So that's okay. Sometimes you just put stuff up there and you forget that there's a partition wall and it's like, Oh, you can't see at all what you put on the wall. <laughs> it's just gone. <laughs> Yay, you did it. Uh, I really wish you can put stuff on the partition wall. I get why, because it's like not... It's an item. It's not part of the structure of the house. I get it. It's just, you know, uh, so many possibilities could be unlocked with that. Now I'm just kind of like filling up the space with, uh, you know, random little things that kind of add to the aesthetic. Uh, green started becoming a little bit part of the uh, color scheme as well. Here's where I'm deciding what I would like to have out as like just food items, welcoming food items. You always can't go wrong with a with a fruit basket, and I feel like it fits the uh, aesthetic pretty well. Um, as well as, you know, this is a Kobe, cozy cabin, right? So uh, we've got a cup of tea available on the table. I really wish that the table would allow for four different place settings, but, you know, that's okay. It still looks nice. I also like to kind of differentiate the kitchen using these... Um, wood flooring rugs um just to kind of give it a little bit of a separation from the rest of the house especially when i might using like a partition wall or anything like that to separate the kitchen i feel like rugs really do the the trick for that and part of my process is just kind of like walking around and making sure that they can walk through things. I know that people will design stuff that really aren't practical to the character getting around, but I just, I like the idea of being able to go in and walk through all of it and be able to like experience it. So um, I'll probably try some builds that are more like just design focused only and less so about, you know, creating an actual functional space but for this one i wanted to create a functional space so I, I want to be able to move everywhere i can 
and not like have to bump into so many things or sneak by a lot of stuff so so uh that ranch cupboard um it it's it has a little bit of a journey it kind of goes from one place to the next it just it, it eventually finds its place but yeah it, it's gone now but it'll come back so if you if you're missing the uh ranch cupboard it'll be fine everything's gonna be just fine I'm really kind of finicking with this bookshelf here. Trying to just figure out what I want it to look like that makes sense to me. Because I wouldn't put a plant just right in front of my books, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to figure out where I want it to stand, where it looks good, and also there's space to access the books. Um and doesn't like make it hard for you to add stuff later putting stuff against the walls can be a little bit of a a little bit of a chore trying to figure out exactly how you want it to be because then you got like slivers of areas you can't fill up stuff like that i love these decorative bottles i don't know if i actually use them yeah i think i got rid of them but those decorative bottles i use a lot actually i think they're really cute what I did was I ended up moving the plants here over because I really wanted to keep a symmetry with those two plants. And here I am just finding um, some things to put on the wall. Now, I know I can put the scenic painting on the wall, but I just don't know how. So I, th maybe it's just that I'm not on like the wall hanging area uh, section of it. I don't know, but I was trying to put that scenic painting down. It would only go as like a, an easel stand. And I was like, I don't, I don't want that. Felt like this old guy was pretty cool. Fit the color scheme, stuff like that. So, but yeah, as you can see there, I was like, I was moving, pa trying to get to the bottom chair or well, kind of the chair closest to the door. And I couldn't do that um, without kind of like getting stuck and colliding with the um, coat rack. So um, I moved the coat rack a little bit and then here I am uh, fiddling with the kitchen, just figuring out what color I want it to be, you know, and it all ends up being dark wood at the end of the day. Oh. By the way, you notice that a uh, big rug that wasn't there before? <laughs> that one just kind of hangs on the screen for a while. Eventually I realize that it's there and I, I delete it. But, you know, sometimes it just accidentally uh, duplicates stuff that I don't need to duplicate. So that, yeah, that rug is just there. You know, it's just seeing and saying what's up. And uh, it'll be gone soon. We'll say goodbye to Mr. Rug soon. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, here's a, here's a duck. Ducks are cool. I, I thought that would be a perfect for, for a cabin like this. It's just a cute little, cute little uh, statue of a duck. There we go. Goodbye, rug. See you later. I thought the bottled ship, the, I it took me a second to figure out which one I wanted, but the pirate ship is the best one. Hands down. Why wouldn't you have a pirate ship in a bottle? Regardless of your house aesthetics, pirate ship is the best one. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the, like a, a pot in the corner. Especially a corner that you don't plan on going into that often. Though I think that technically that table is kind of hard for Bo to get around. Um, just the AI. But it's fine. It's whatever. As long as I can walk through it without any problems, I don't worry too much about it past that. Yeah, so just changing the wood color again. I keep, you know, trying to see how that would look. But ultimately, I, I just really like the, the dark wood colors anyway. Um, and I feel like it would be really too much matchy-matchy if it was a lighter color. Just because the wall, the flooring and the wallpaper are kind of a lighter wood color. 
Here's a little spotlight for you to walk into. I just think it's nice and chic. But it doesn't take away from the aesthetic too much. Add a welcome mat. Oh yeah, and then kind of extending that kitchen. So now we've kind of separated the kitchen with the island. And then using the rugs just kind of made it look like it's its own section. There's that ranch cupboard. It's back now. It just gets to go right there. That seems like a pretty typical place to put a thing like that in a kitchen. Especially a kitchen of this size. So, And then here I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the last... Yeah, I, I thought... I thought it was going to be that, but that just seemed a little bit too, I don't know. I, I don't want to do that at the end of the day. So I opted for instead Casablanca lilies, made them red. And then there we go. Sort of like fall touch really matches well. And it's time for upstairs. Okay, so we've got upstairs. Um, I kind of make it a shorter room and here's one thing to know about me when it comes to these game design, like house design games, is that I love a really extra bath area. Um, and I'm not, I, I can get way more extra than I did in this space, but you know, I've got to have a nice bath area. Ever since I learned in Minecraft how to make water that bubbles, I've been like, yeah, let's make a bathhouse. <laughs> Just like, I don't I don't know. I love the idea of it. Um, there's a Korean bathhouse that is uh, near where I live. Um, and I've been there many times. I just really enjoy the, the times I have there. So I just really love an extra, extra bath area. <laughs> so I opted for um, kind of more pink in in the top level with the cherry blossoms I'm trying to figure out exactly where i want uh these two kitchen appliances or sorry kitchen appliances uh bathroom appliances <laughs> to go um and then just adding some stuff on the walls to give it more interest it kind of doesn't get it doesn't get at, any more interesting than this uh besides a rug um and something on the wall later but I just, I love the look of that cherry blossom tree right next to the tub. And that's kind of the basics of the bathroom so far. And then we're going to add a tapestry. Oh yeah, I do remember that tapestry. So we got that tapestry. We make it into a flower. At first I try the animal based on... Um, sort of the downstairs, but I felt like the floral would just look a little bit better. And then finding out something else to hang out on the wall, as well as that pendant light, that wooden pendant light is really pretty. I end up going for, um, I believe a KK, yeah, a KK music piece of art. It didn't look like it took away from the art too, mu too much. It, it, it seemed like it um, kind of fit really well and didn't take, um, what's the word? Like your eyes off of, you know, the bathtub area, which is really where I wanted to, everything to shine. So... We've got, you know, that rose um, rug that's going to get switched around at some point. And then from here, we're just kind of figuring out the bedroom furniture. And that vanity um, ends up coming out of the bathroom. And then goes right in front of the window. And, you know, I feel like the right in front of a window is a perfect place for a vanity. Um, natural lighting is really good for makeup and things like that. I wanted to add green into this room, but definitely not through that. I feel like the amount of green that I added to this room was maybe a little bit too much um, at the end of the day, but that's all right. 
Yeah, we brought pink back into the bedroom. And then this lamp ends up becoming green. Which I kind of, I don't, I don't know if I end up liking that at the end of the day, but that's okay. I love just adding a wall full of star garland. And this painting of Bo really shifts around a lot. Just like watching this speed build back and just, oh man, I want some hot chocolate, you know? Like it just makes me feel like I want some hot chocolate. If you hear any uh, noises in the background, it's just me moving around in my chair. Hashtag fidget life. Hashtag fidget for days. <laughs> Hashtag I put the buy in back issues. Because I just can't, I can't sit in my chair <laughs> in one place for too long. So I added this, um, I wanted to have some sort of, uh, some sort of clothing piece just out and displayed. So I brought that one piece out that's sitting on the red carpet. Um, it eventually changes piece, but also at one point I get into the bathroom again and just do a whole bunch of stuff that I don't end up do like doing. And part of that has to be do with um, wanting to put that piece right there right by the stairs and it just didn't work out. I'm like, I am giving up something that I already love the look of just to put this piece of clothing down. So I was like, I, I don't want to continue that. So I just put it all back together and left it how I left it. So the painting or the, this is a poster of Bo. The poster of Bo ends up going um, actually just going in general. I don't think that we actually keep it. <laughs> Whoops. And then we bring the uh, green deer sort of um, thing. I, I believe that Bo is actually, was that, Bo was wearing that the whole time, wasn't he? I believe he was, which is really funny because I didn't, probably didn't even notice that before I chose that, that piece. I absolutely love this um, leaf partition, this flower partition. And at first I was going to sort of cut off the vanity from the rest of the room. Um, but I kind of didn't like the way that the partition looked sort of cutting the room down the middle like that. So you'll see later what I chose to do with it. But we put an aroma pot in the bathroom as well. Kind of added, you know, those uh, tension bars, which are great. So I tried this, which I thought was, I thought, th I thought this looked nice actually. Um, and we put the cute little dog there. Who ended up becoming a focal point on the side table as opposed to on the floor. And I love using these drapes, um, these curtain drapes, just in like one room. Yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. Like that's just the, the extra, you know, that is the little extra that I like to put in the bathrooms that just make them feel luxurious and uh, welcoming. So I just, I love an, a, an extra bathroom. I wanted to put this chair down, but we ended up not being able to really do anything with it, which is fine. Uh, and we've got a cello here because I feel like Bo would play a cello. And so, yeah, that, that flower partition ended up just becoming like a plant fixture in front of the bed. Um, which I found just gives it a little bit more, more of a nice look. Just adding some things to the walls to give a character. I ended up moving the star lights. Um, you know, it just, I like to have one room with the star lights on them and you just kind of figure out which wall looks better. I like these dry garlands. They're really cool. And I feel like that you can achieve quite a, quite a few looks with them.
And that's pretty much the end of it, except for like a couple of additions. So we've got this um, extra dried pl plants right there. I'm moving around all that stuff to kind of figure out where I want it to go. But largely, this is this is the end of it. We just got a couple more things to add. A nice poster. I don't know if I'll keep that poster, but it was just kind of like the closest thing they had that felt like less of a of an more of an art piece and less of a pattern you know uh so yeah that's pretty much that room and we'll show you pictures later and then we're just gonna add some uh glowing moss i really like the glowing moss um and i just kind of feel like it gives it a kind of a magical vibe to it but but not so much as like mushrooms or anything like that like the big mush lamps which i do love the mush lamps like a lot Log steaks are always one of my favorite items to put outside. And uh, we got some uh, green leaves, you know, creating a really natural. Oh, yeah, that that uh, that messed up tree, too. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> but uh, yeah, adding adding that for a little bit of variety. I just wanted something that looked really natural and, um, you know, not not kept up very well and uh, yeah got a dark wood swing and then you can't go wrong with a garden bunny which you know some some glowing moss had to move for that to, <laughs> for that to be there but that's okay and that is it thank you so much for being here while i create this cozy cabin for Bo. i hope you enjoyed it i really did enjoy making this video uh filming the um create creation process as well as uh learning some new things about video editing so it's been it's been really fun um i hope you enjoyed this as well and we're gonna end off the video with some pics of what the house looks like in its entirety so i hope you enjoy uh if you want to come find me on socials um i stream on twitch as well as have instagram twitter all that stuff so just check out the comments or the uh the about page rather um and i hope to see you somewhere else so uh yeah thank you so much for being here have a fantastic one. Bye.